I love this one. It just like spoke to me because um at the store the man was like, you don't choose the crystals. The crystals choose you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along while I go crystal shopping. Um, I know it's not what I normally do on this channel, but I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys different aspects of my life because I have been so obsessed with like crystals and like how to recharge them, how to cleanse them and just like sage and like incense and all that fun stuff. Me and a couple of friends actually went to the beach this past weekend and we visited a crystal shop and we ended up getting some crystals. Um, I put mine in this little bag in a little like jar thing. I ended up getting four rough crystals. I put them in this little like container. I don't even know if you can see, but I got four and I'll show you guys the different ones. And then I also like started like a little like bullet kind of like journal for the crystals that I'm gonna just keep with me all the time. I'm gonna see if I can try to like make this like my dream journal, manifestation journal, just because I love the idea of having one. So the first one that I got is a little, did a little spread and this one is the amethyst crystal. People at the store are, <laughs> they were so, so cute and they basically just showed you like which crystals are best for beginners, what they represent and you know, like how to charge them, how to cleanse them, which I definitely appreciate it. This is, this is the amethyst crystal. And then this is my spread that I did. So I just have amethyst and then what, what it does. So basically amethyst is a healing and soothing stone that comes to mind. It creates a protective bubble around the carrier and awards off negative energy as well as like its energy, its different associations, its healing properties, how to recharge it, how to cleanse it. And like when I got it, the next crystal that I got is citrine. This is my spread if it would focus. And then this is my citrine crystal. It's a little bit a mix of like white, like opal and like the more gold color. So basically citrine boosts joy and optimism. It provides motivation to achieve your goals and radiates positive, bright and happy energy. The next crystal that I got is blue calcite. I hope I'm saying that's correct, but it is this one. I love it. This blue color it's really pretty and blue calcite is basically a powerful healing and purification stone it absorbs energy filters and returns it back to the center it soothes nerves and lifts anxiety and it's basically just like a serenity crystal and i'm so so excited to start using it and then the last crystal i ended up getting is the tangerine quartz it is this one it kind of has more like a book point to it it fuels creative fire and it helps to experience joyfulness, a sense of lightness and playfulness it helps ignite passion and this is the spread i don't have too much on it but I am really excited for it. And then this part of the journal is why I am making this video today. I basically wanted to get some new crystals and then I did some research on like zodiac crystals and like school crystals and like obviously like more stuff about like how to like when you're like recharging or cleansing your crystals like what not to put in water what not to put in sunlight what not to put in salt which is really important as well as like when to like charge them i got most of these ideas from pinterest as well as like i did my own research what i should buy and stuff i'm gonna go pick up my computer and then i'm gonna go to my nearest crystal shop and try to find these things and i will take you guys along Hey guys, so I just got back from getting my computer and then I also made a stop by Amazon Books. I ended up getting two books. I got this one called Green Witchcraft. I thought it was so freaking cute and it's just a guide to discovering the magic of plants, herbs, crystals, and beyond. I was so excited to see it because I mean, look at it. It's so cute. And then the next book that I got is uh, Crystals for Beginners. I'm driving. This I'm going to do the book haul later of the two books I got, but now I'm on the way to the crystal shop. It's called The Crystal Fox in Laurel, Maryland. It closes at 9, so we should be getting there soon. It's kind of like a 30-minute drive, but with this traffic, we'll probably get there. So enjoy pics of me driving or videos. So we made it. The crystal store is right over there. I'll see if I can try to vlog inside the store, but I probably won't because I am too shy, but I'll try to get like shots of me buying stuff and like the crystal like assortment or whatever. So yeah, I'll see you guys in like two seconds while I like walk there or whatever. <laughs>
I got the goods. <laughs> oh. So it's been some time. I'm finally home. It's currently 10.07, but I just thought I would give you guys a haul of everything I bought. So the total came out to $67.79 from the crystal store. And then for the Amazon books, it was around $16 because I did end up getting two books. They were both $8.99 just because I am a beginner and I, I do want to learn more about crystals, herbs, and like all that fun stuff. So I thought these would be good to read and just, you know, like learn more about them. So now we're going to talk about all the stuff that I got from the crystal store. So the first thing I ended up picking up was the Dragon Blood Incense Sticks. This one was $1.50. I've heard so many great things about this, so I'm really, really excited to try this out. It's supposed to smell amazing. And then the next thing I ended up getting were these two butterfly dishes. This is the first one. They were each $6.95 each. This one, I think I'm just gonna leave it by the windowsill so I can charge my crystals through the moonlight. And then the next one looks like this. It was also $9.65. Please focus. Yep, and I think I'm just gonna also use this as a charging station to put my Celianite on. So, which is the next thing I ended up getting. This, this is the big Celianite crystal that I'm going to be using to charge the rest of my crystals. This one was, it's really big and it was kind of expensive. It was $19.95, but honestly, I'm going to be using it forever and it's real and it's really freaking pretty if it will focus. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so stunning. I think I'm just going to like place it like on top of this one and like put my surrounding crystals around it to charge. And then the next thing I ended up getting was a couple of the white sage and the Palo Santo sticks. And then you basically just use this to cleanse your crystals when you first get them using the smoke after you light them. So I'm really excited to try this out. And then obviously I ended up getting a bunch of crystals. I am so happy because I found all the ones that I was looking for. So we ended up checking all of these so i'm really happy about that i still have to work on like my pisces crystals but another time another time all of these crystals were a dollar and 95 each except one of them was nine dollars because it was rough and the pricing was a little bit different first the stone that i ended up getting was a sunstone at the shop they have these little pieces of paper where they basically give you the information or you can just write it out yourself so this is what it looks like it was a dollar and 95 cents it's so pretty and then with the sunstone, I decided to also pick up a moonstone just because they balance each other out. And then this is what the, my moonstone looks like. Okay, if it would focus. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then this one just came with the label, so I'm really happy about that one. And then the next one that I got was Malachite. I'm so excited about this one because this has been on my list, and this one is absolutely stunning. I am so obsessed with this one. It's so freaking pretty. And then the next one I got was Citrine. I already have this one, but I figured I'd have a more like smoother one versus the rough one that I have. So this is what it looks like. It's also labeled really pretty. Also a dollar and 95 cents. And then the next one I got is the Lapis Lazuli. If I'm saying that wrong, please correct me, but it basically looks like this. It's really, really pretty. I had to get this one. It was so freaking gorgeous. And then the next one that I got was Tiger Eye. It was also on my list. It is so gorgeous. And then the last crystal I ended up getting was the Rose Quartz. I just have a smooth and a rough one. It looks like this. I know that might sound extra, but I just really am obsessed with this crystal and its healing properties and I figured I would keep one on me and have one recharge and that's just because I want to see the benefits of this crystal the most. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and honestly, if you live near a crystal shop, please go. Like hands down, one of the best experiences I've ever had. Like the workers are so sweet, so nice, and they're very knowledgeable about crystals. And honestly, if you have crystals and are knowledgeable about them, please leave your tips down below, like what your favorite crystals are, how you cleanse them you know like how you recharge them anything like that I would be happy to learn like seriously leave your favorite crystals down below because trust me I will be going back to that store because it was the best experience of my life that was really dramatic but it really was I just loved the energy in there but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys want to see kind of like my crystal journey or like you know more about my crystals if that makes sense but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye